So, since I'm in band, I of course have to take, like, a picture to put in the yearbook and stuff. Since I'm in beginning band, we had to wait for intermediate band to take their pictures before we could take ours, and it took a pretty long time, like 20 minutes, and we were just sitting under the shaded structure, but I was still sweating. I was also forced to take my glasses off because apparently I would look like a blind person if I would have them on in the picture or something because they were too dark. We had to get in the line from tallest in the front to shortest in the back, and I was pretty far back because apparently 5'2 is not tall enough. So of course the tallest kids are in the back and the fucking shortest kids like me were in the front. Kinda look like this. I guess the cameraman could tell that we were pretty uncomfortable with what we were doing, so we decided to tell the girl right next to me this to lighten things up. I know you don't like him, but you're gonna have to scoot closer to him, okay? Like, I know he was just trying to be funny and stuff, but like, COME ON, DUDE! I think now it's safe to mention that I've never been good at keeping my eyes open during pictures, and the fact that I wasn't wearing my glasses wasn't helping. By the time he took the first picture, my eyes were already watering. So my picture probably looked like this. During lunch on the same day, we had to just take individual pictures, or at least if we wanted to, and my family did. And thankfully, the picture guy didn't recognize me this time because I was wearing glasses. All I have to say is that if I ever see him again, this is what I'm gonna do. Murder, and I'm Carl Azus for CNN. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm Carl Azus for CNN. What the? <laughs> Hey guys, Sus made raisins. Let's go. I'm so mad at my parents. Get in the van. Wait, they're definitely stalking me again. I hope they're still not stalking me. I escaped the game's code, now I'm in real life, and now I'm gonna get you back. The cockies are serious intent. Oh, we got the the body dude. Whoa, I'm in a dream. This place is weird. <laughs> oh my God, Anthony, Chase is behind you. Wait, 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 wait. what?
You know what I hate? Free choice activity. You know what, what person makes us do it? My PE teacher, Mr. Lamasters. Before we do it, we usually have to like run a lap or something, and the stupid athletic kids always instantly take off like silver bullets. So I mostly just walk the whole way, because I mean, like, what motivation do I have to run? Most of the pinheads at the start instantly start running as fast as they can and burn up all of their energy, but I just jog the whole way and I pass all of them up. My first strategy in free choice activity was to just sit under an air vent that was near the locker room so I can get there quickly and be in front of the line. Speaking of hell, that's what the locker room is. Going there is a fate worse than death! My next strategy was to just continue walking the track for the whole time, but I slowly lost my sanity as that happened. Next I decided to just get a basketball and dribble it like I know what I'm doing, and like I look like I'm occupied. Finally, I've just decided to draw comics. I mean, nobody's gonna stop me, am I right? I'm surprised the PE teachers keep their jobs when stuff like this happens on a daily basis. 
That's the worst part. I can imagine myself doing stuff to confront Mr. LeMasters about free choice activity all I want, but I'll never actually be able to do it. Basically, there is no escape! Even worse, on Thursdays, which is also the day that this was uploaded, I have double PE and none of band, which is my favorite period. Also, when we were playing dodgeball, my team's name got mixed up with another one and confused, so I didn't know when I was supposed to be playing and I spent countless days of PE doing nothing. That's why I don't like PE and free choice activity so much. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Let me tell you that locker room is truly an unholy place. Jesus himself has sleepless nights because of it. Cell. It kind of looks like its own planet with all kinds of features. Now we'll go through each part one by one. One is the nucleus. It's the control center of the cell and it directs many of the cell's features. It also holds the DNA. This is a close up of the nucleus. As you can see, it's the big star looking thing in the middle. Next is the cell membrane. It's the thin layer that surrounds the cell that provides protection and structure. It's also semi permeable. The cell membrane is right here. It's the green stuff on the bottom. Next is the Golgi body, which packages proteins, carbohydrates into vessels for transport outside the cell. Why would I need this stupid notebook? Fuck. Chloroplast is only found in plant cells because it converts sunlight into sugars and stuff that the plant needs. It's also called photosynthesis, and if we had chloroplast, uh, we'd endorse the sunlight. Here's a presentation of what would happen if we had chloroplast. Please, sunlight, let me commit photosynthesis. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, ah. Next is the mitochondria, which is nicknamed the powerhouse of the cell because it creates energy. It also, it's also the site of cellular respiration. We have so much energy! Next are vacuoles and vessels. Vacuoles are bigger storage units with provide storage stuff like water. And the vessels are the smaller ones that have the have stuff. It's just a smaller storage, basically, and stuff gets in and out. <laughs> Finally, we have the endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth one makes lipids, fats, and modifies proteins. Then it then transports these materials through the cell. Rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes bound to its membranes. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. Mm -hmm. Why do I have this notebook again? I said I didn't want it. I'm sick of this notebook. <laughs> Piece of trash. This is the nucleus, a little star looking thing. This is the control center of the cell. Next is the vessel. The vessel helps transport the materials that the cell needs. Next is the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus um, processes and packages proteins. Next is the cell membrane. The cell membrane separates the inside from the outside of the cell. We're all made of cells. You're made of cells. I'm made of cells. 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 The endoplasmic reticulum produces proteins for the cell that it needs. The ribosomes is a site for um, protein synthesis. The lysosomes is a membrane bound ordinary canal that contains digestive enzymes. The mitochondrion generates most of the chemical energy that the cell needs. Get out of here! And that was it, kiddos. Cells, cells, they're everywhere. They're in your brain. They're in your lives. Cells, your whole family is cells. Cells, cells, cells.
fired. These teachers should be fired. Why can't you just give me a simple goddamn break? Every day, for six hours, feeling weak, losing power. I want to hit this freaking school with a giant rake. Mr. Nicky Burnin, how the locker room really smells? And don't even get me started on free choice activity. Why do I keep going, yo? I don't know, I don't know. I have to keep living in this middle school misery. Band B, one big joke, keep playing the wrong notes. Too many assignments from math can be a big headache. P.E. sports that I can't play all the time, every day. All this crap keeps causing my own slightly insane mind to quit. Left leg forward, right leg back, P.E. sucks, you know that. Lots of notes in science really wants to make me die. Everybody's hollering me, can't go when I have to pee. Said that this would end up being a big ol' slice of pie. And teachers flipping out when they scream, when they shout. Freddy's river makes me shiver all the time. Survival's hard, it's no doubt. Worst part is you can't get out. The classroom, it should also be a crime. We show off kids are rough, you can't be strong, you can't be tough. Teacher's help really is no use. I got the scary call stupid jokes about balls. Being absent is hardly even an excuse. What will it end? My sanity has ever because of this stupid stuff because I can't take it. If I have to keep going, I really don't think I will. Freaking make it! This chaos is too much for me. Ah! In all seriousness, I still do like school. Kind of. <laughs> I didn't see Ruben or Anthony. Huh? I didn't see Ruben or Anthony. Yes? No. There's Jesse. I told you Jesse's in the front. Mm -hmm. Tape it for me? No. Hold it for me.
Anthony. Yeah. Back there. Right behind where Jesse is, like. See his foot. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. And it's great to be here. Looking forward to this. Um, this is kind of a, well, not for this group, but for our um, older group. This is kind of a dress rehearsal for our festival competition that's coming up in two days. But uh, for everyone else, it's just a concert. Yes. Love these. Chance to show you what we've been up to. This is Beginning Band. First song is called Fanfare and March. Thank you. 
sets up so the kind of first thing of the end of our year that uh, you know the first concert we didn't work on any songs concert music uh, we just played stuff out of the book this song time we've got three songs but um, our next concert is in May so that's three more songs <laughs> plus the storm game we usually play three to five songs the storm game so all of a sudden they're going to be getting a whole yeah, lot of music and uh, it's kind of the way the that those bands are storm designed you, like, like fall semester is kind of like your boot camp like getting all your skills and then we just do a whole bunch of performances in the, in the springtime so much more fun at the yeah. end of the year than the beginning yes and this is our last tune here this is a mark williams composition called the centurion this is the last thing the last song <laughs>
eventually. Fortnite Battle Pass I just shit out my ass Booted up my PC Cause I need need to get that Fortnite Battle Pass I like Fortnite, did I mention Fortnite? I like Fortnite, it's night time I mean it's 5 o'clock, that's basically night time Now I remember Cartoon Network Adventure Time Fortnite Battle Pass I just shit out my ass Booted up my PC Cause I need need to get that Fortnite Battle Pass I like Fortnite, did I mention Fortnite? 
I like Fortnite, it's night time. I mean, it's 5 o'clock, that's basically night time. Now remember, come to Network Adventure Time.
Oh, uh, hello. So me and my dad came into the store to come in, like, into the meat department to, like, come and pick something up, and, like, it wasn't there. Like, no, like, somebody, like, we asked somebody, and they didn't say it was- Son, what are you doing? I'm going. Ah! Ah! Help me! Help! Ah! Hey, one of those workers back there spit in my fucking face. <laughs> hello, me and my dad came in to order some donuts, and those taste like shit. Can I get a refund? Me and my dad get a refund, because those donuts taste like shit. Yeah, those taste like shit. <laughs> Can I get a shit flavored frappuccino? Uh, I think that one was like some chocolate chips, a little bit extra milk. Exactly! Yes. They just keep hanging up on me. <laughs> Alright, wait, can I get a caramel frappuccino? Alright, love you, daddy. <laughs> Hello, um, me and my dad came in earlier, we got some burgers, and I was wondering if we can get a refund, because those burgers taste like cow ass. Uh, well, this was yesterday, and I was, we saw the receipt, and we barely took a bite of the food, and then it tastes like shit. Your, your burgers taste like ass. So why did you come to uh, come down yesterday, and... I contacted yesterday, I, I, I say something. <laughs> Can me and my dad come in and uh, get uh, some crispy can pancakes with cum sauce? Chocolate milk, uh, normal milk, and some cum sauce, like I was doing in the bathroom. I'm not a man, I'm a sir. Yeah, I'm sorry, how can I help you? Uh, no, it's okay. Um, do you, do you really have the meat there? The meat? The what? The meat that I was beating in the bathroom? Oh, uh, so do you still like... Corn dogs there and stuff, because it's my first time. Oh, uh, yeah, we have corn dogs. Alright, because my corn dog is bigger than yours, if you know what I mean, that I'll be in the bathroom last night. Oh, hi there. So, um, I went to Sonic, and I was wondering if you have any fucking hedgehogs on the menu. <laughs> yeah, do you have any hedgehogs there, buddy? <laughs> okay, so my grandma used to work here. Uh, she Chris, she. Hello, um, I'm I'm looking for some tacos. Me and my dad come in and order. Is there any fucking burgers on the menu? Cause your tacos taste like ass. No. Fuck. Well, have a nice day. You're you're good, but fuck. Gotta get the fuck out. Oh no, that I didn't mean it. Uh, hi. Can I get three tacos? Oh, um, you would need that to order on the app or something right there inside. Uh, no. Hello, that girl on your logo seems pretty hot. Can I fuck her? Hello, is this Five Guys? Yes. Uh, can I? Yes. Uh, can I fuck those Five Guys? I need ten tacos because I need to shove them all up my ass. Uh, do you guys have chicken? Do you guys have chicken? Okay, okay can I get some? Can I talk to the manager and see if my dad can get a refund? I'm the manager. Oh, well, your fucking burgers are disgusting. <laughs> Hi there. So, I was eating my taco, and I found a fucking big fucking burger. It, it looked like a Whopper. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Uh, hi. Uh, how many pancakes can I get? Uh, yeah, I'm ordering with my dad. Okay, I'll get a... Uh, can I get, like, some hash browns? Yes, please. Okay, can I get, like, uh, Ben, talk to me. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, do you guys have burgers? Do you guys have tacos? I can, I can really hear you. Uh, do you guys have pickles? Pickles? I'll also get all kids' meals. Uh, the ones that can feed my whole family. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, my phone is glitching. The ones that can feed. <laughs> okay. I can feed my. Oh. Um, hi. So, I got seven orders of hot browns, correct? Yes. And what's the type? Uh, five kids' meals. And what's the type of meals like? Uh, what types are there? So, we have the junior cooking combo, bunny combo, we uh, have the junior uh, french toast, uh, we have... Uh, as well. Okay, we have some bunny combos, I have seven brothers. So, seven junior bunny combos, and how would you like your eggs, Rita? Uh, can I get no eggs, please? No eggs? I hate eggs, they make me die. Okay, and what's the meals like? Okay, and what's the meals like? Okay, I guess it's not good. Do you have butter meat? Butter meat? Butter meat? 
Yes. Uh, yeah, I was kidding. Actually. Uh, <laughs> We got um like a, a dozen of um cinnamon rolls and there's not frosting on it, it's cum. Hi, uh, Dirk Queen Marietta, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a cotton candy blizzard? Another package came, of course, and of course, you already know I'm gonna open it.
It's not right. Fuck. That's pretty even more because this is a pretty big book and I'm gonna open it. Dang. I'm not gonna lie, my first year at Chevela Middle School, sixth grade, has been kind of hectic. But instead of just dumping into one random huge sequence of events that happened, I'm gonna put it in order based on which class I have from period 1 to 6. I'm grouping language arts and social studies together because they're both taught by the same teacher and none of them are really greater than the other. For starters, we had a list of the dumb song called Ancient Mesopotamia by Mr. Nicky, which is just a terrible remix of Soldier Boy. And we did it a lot. I don't know why everybody in my class liked it. It sucks! 
Here is a diagram of my brain while I listen to that terrible thing called a song. We also gotta watch CNN 10, which is basically just CNN in 10 minutes, and the guy who ran it is Carl Lucius, and as you can see in the picture, yeah. We also gotta read all these mandatory reading books. Most of them sucked, and I even read one of them from 5th grade, which I had to read again, but whatever. It wasn't the worst. Then there's this terrible packet we gotta do called The Worldly Wise. It's about as self-explanatory as you can get, except it's not wise one bit, stupid piece of shit. Now, I could go more in-depth about PE, about everything that's happened, because trust me, there is a lot. But I've already made a video about it called Ruben Tunes Free Choice Activity, so if you want info, check that out, but I will talk about a few more things. We recently did an 800 meter dash, which is two and a half laps around the track, and I really didn't think I'd do that good, but I ended up pushing through, and I beat everyone, including the 7th graders. Yeah. <laughs> As I've addressed in previous tune videos, I decided to play the Euphonium in band, which is basically just a small tuba, and it's kind of like the trombone. We got yelled at by the teacher many times, we had fun concerts and stuff, but the highlight was definitely recently when we went to play at a Storm game, which means Storm is a Lake Elsinore baseball team. When we got to the parking lot, we had to walk all the way onto the field from behind the stadium, which... It was exhausting, it took a while. When we actually got there and played though, it was fun. We played Star Spangled Banner, we were gonna play Take Me Out to the Ball Game, but we didn't. We played Your Grand Old Flag and Another One Bites the Dust. I've definitely never been the biggest fan of math, but I don't really hate it either, so I'm sort of neutral, but I'm leaning more onto the dislike side, with stuff like fractions and decimals. What I really hate about math is the almost daily homework, like Miss Spencer, CHILL! Fortunately, I'm fairly good at math, so TAKE THAT GREATEST COMMON FACTOR! Personally, I've never really been a fan of science, because it mostly just consists of dumb, boring notes. And reading crap. But the highlight was definitely when we had to dissect a frog. It smelt really bad and we had to put its organs on pieces of paper. Use this as a dramatic example. But everything else about science sucked. Now that I've covered each period, I'm going to talk about other stuff that's happened throughout the year. Like, for example, me and Anthony found a dollar bill on the way riding our bike and scooter to school, and we took it to the gas station and bought gum. There was also a time where I got an ice cream sundae from my math teacher while dressed up as a taco. Don't tell the masters, but I wrote I Hate Free Choice Activity on a pole near the locker room, and I'm pretty sure it's still there. But Ruben, that's not right. Fuck. <laughs> There's also stuff to look forward to next year, because I got into the class of video production for leadership, and if you look at my channel, you can tell that that's good for me. So, overall, it might seem like I hate school, I mean, my In the Hall of Middle School Misery video kind of says that for itself, but trust me, I don't. <laughs>
Merci. What's the day today, Jace? Jace. What's the day today, Philharmonic at the Shibella Professional Beginning Band. concert there's Chase the number one fan <laughs>
two, one, go! <laughs>
two, one, go!
on a Friday night yet. Three, two, one, go. Freaking tired. These teachers should be fired. Why can't you just give me a simple goddamn break? Every day for six hours, feeling weak, losing power. I want to hit this freaking school with a giant rake. Mr. Nicky burning hell the locker room really smells. And don't even get me started on free choice activity. Why do I keep going, yo? I don't know, I don't know. I have to keep living in this middle school misery. And be one big joke, keep playing the wrong notes. Too many assignments from math can be a big headache. PE sports that I can't play all the time, every day. All this crap keeps causing my own slightly insane mind to quit. Left leg forward, right leg back, PE sucks, you know that. Lots and lots of science really wants to make me die. Everybody's following me, can't go when I have to pee. So this would end up being a big old slice of pie. And teacher flipping out when they scream, when they shout. Even Freddy's River makes me shiver all the time. Survival's smart, it's no doubt. Worst part is you can't get out. The classroom it should also be a crime. When you show off kids are rough, you can't be strong, you can't be tough. Teacher's health really is no use. I got a scary call, stupid jokes about balls. Being absent is hardly even an excuse. What hell? It end! 
understand that he has arrows because of the stupid stuff because I can't take it. And if I have to keep going, I really don't think I will. Freaking make it! This chaos is too much for me. <laughs> In all seriousness, I still do like school. Kind of. Three, two, one.
Fortnite Battle Pass. I just shit out my ass. Six and a half hours later. I'm gonna win this, dude. You just have luck. Let's. Yeah, all three of us won. Let's go. Oh, I was literally sweating. Yo, yes, and they showed me on the screen. Until next time. The results are in, and the winner is... Send... You know, now that I got a brand new computer right here, I'm not really gonna need this old beat-up one, so I think you know what time it is with the hammer. Let's start with the bottom keyboard. That's gonna leave a mark. Next, we have this piece of trash. Break already. telling me my battery is low now. Exactly. Anthony, Ruben, and Jace will be cousins forever. Anthony, Ruben, and Jace, the name of the show is clever. We will be in this pool for this show. ARJ stands for our names. Anthony, Ruben, and Jace, Jace is in third place. I'm making up rhymes all the time. Anthony, Ruben, and Jace! Yo, ARJ, Oh my god! Not <laughs>
I really can't. Why is it going on for so long? It's <laughs> 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 Wait, look at mine. My brain is weird, and day or night, it always finds a way to dream the strangest stuff. Whether that be a dad going to get the milk any percent speed run, or whatever the hell these are. But this video is about the night dreams I've had. I've made a video like this before, but I wanted to make another one because it's been a little while. I was in the RV with my mom, and she kept slamming it to the window, causing it to crack. Then we went inside to have dinner, but some kid from next door stopped me to show me his yearbook. I went in to eat, but I was soon back outside when I saw a great white shark and a spider cat looking thing crawl out of the house. Anthony got eaten by the great white shark. Soon we were in the car, but my papa said his infection was working, causing a pizza man to get eaten by the shark too. I was at my old elementary school of Aha and on the grass field, when we got to recess, there were thousands of bees, twice as big as I was, in, the, in some hive in the sky. Some even swooped down to attack us. This next dream started in which I was in a VR game with Anthony and Jace. It was daytime and we were all in some weird looking car without a roof driving through McDonald's. For some reason, Anthony and Jace asked for a pillow with their meal, and I thought that was maybe something about the VR game. Then I suddenly teleported into Gru's house at 3 a.m. Gone wrong, got kicked by him and died. I'll read this one straight from my dream journal. For some reason, I was in my room trying to read a music note backwards to spell something, and then I walked out. It was really dark and creepy in the hallway, and I went into my non and papa's room. Nobody was in there. This quickly became a nightmare as outside the window showed a bunch of weird glyph music notes. In this next dream, it was night, and I was in my kitchen, and I was looking through the sliding door window, and then I suddenly saw a huge mushroom cloud explosion. We were in a school bus in this next dream, driving to my house, and suddenly a bunch of Minecraft-looking lava showed up. The bus drowned in it, but I escaped. There were people dying everywhere, and I saw a woman get slain by wolves. I got killed by those same wolves at night. In another dream, I was in the boys' locker room at school, and it was, like, really dark, and I was getting my backpack and stuff, and it was raining outside. And in this final dream, the time on my clock wouldn't change from 11.58 for some reason. Yeah, if you hadn't already noticed, my brain is pretty weird. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, whoa, there you go. All right. This one. <laughs> a present and a present. And a present. And a present. And a present. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>
No, I mean, I... I... <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go again, one more time, three times. <sighs> okay, birthday. Okay. Yo, what's up? What's poppin'? Yeah, right now. Kona ice right here. Let's see. There was a lot of good packed into this little cup. Yo. It doesn't make noise.
The seventh time I've lost today. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so I'm still not gay guy holding down. He's still not. Uh, man, it's I want that gay guy. He's gonna die right now. I know. Crap. What? That's fucked up. If that dude starts griefing me, I'm literally going to die. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I really hope I made the oh, right choice coming okay, over here. This is really risky. Oh, Jesus. Good, their platform is shaking. Oh, this motherfucker really came over here. Oh my god. I swear. I want to kill this dude. Really? Yeah. Like, in the I game, of course. Did you that game? No. I just, How are you still alive? I just climbed through there like a slug or something. I feel like there's a lot of the Oh my god. How? 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 I know, that's what I'm saying, man. How? Grief that game. Uh, I don't know how to grief, I'll die. I just... You just hold our two one with the Nobody's dying right now, but like... He's, He's not gonna die anymore. Fans coming. Woo! Oh. He died! Yes! I'm happy. I'm satisfied. D damn it!
observe just briefly to the bottom layer. The one in the black, he's the one who stole my first place. Do you enjoy duking here? Throw it, throw it, throw it! <laughs> yeah, I have to hold it to the last second and then throw it. So it hits the yeah. thing. And he oh, knows shit. the strat too. Oh shit. Throw it! Got him! Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes, he got double knocked. Uh, you just got your wonker wonked, buddy. What's a wonker? Oh. Hey. What's a, is that a pee pee? Is that what a wonker is? Die, Mr. Cheese. Is that a wee wee wonker? Let's oh, go, let's go, let's go. Hey, buddy. T oh, dang it. Urban. Got him. Oh, I just sniped that dude. Not. Oh, I just usually He's stay over here. Yet! 
I know this platform never goes down because it always stays. It's one of the four that stays with the one with the balls, so I just stay it here. Four. Okay. Get him! Get him! He's wide open. Oh my god! Oh, what are you doing? I don't know. It's kind of hard to move the joystick. Oh. Oh god! Get him! Get him! Stop. Oh, that hit me more than it hit him. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna teach you something called death. <laughs> there. No, no. Oh, oh, how did he live? Yes, he killed himself. Oh, yep, yep, you're winning, you're winning. No. Oh, no! No! Oh, damn it. Ugh, I was about to grab it, and then it blew up at the last second. Oh, shit.
I lost something in the lost and found. I think I lost my dildo. Like that was it was a Gucci dildo. I need you I need you to help me find it in the airport, please, at the lost and found. Or somebody go back Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, help um I would like help in the lost and found because I lost my Gucci dildo. Yes. Okay. Are you here at the airport right now? Uh, yes. I'm in the Lost and Found, and I need somebody to come out uh to help me find this, cause this was an eight hundred dollar dildo. I was fucking my girl last that with it. Are you by the Lost and Found right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Is this dildo does it have like the Gucci pattern or? Yes. 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 Well, I don't see you on camera out there, so. When you get there, give me a call. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm in the bathroom right now, but I'll be there in about two minutes, alright, sir? Okay, when you get there, give me a call. It's a white and black Gucci dildo. Okay, just call me when, uh, when you get there. It's a vibrator, too, so. My girl would have felt good last night coming. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a body. Hello? Wait, what, what are you talking about? I, my son's got a hole. <laughs> What's that? My grandson's got a hold of my phone. Oh, really? You weren't the one telling him to keep playing it off? No, I, no I, 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 don't, I don't. Listen, I don't want a hold of my. I just, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> huh? 
I still want that dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, delivery, please. What's the address? Uh, hold on. Can I place my order first, and then we can, I can tell you the address, because I have to go tell my dad. You cannot place the order without having the address. 69420. 69420. I'd like two large pizzas, and I'd like to lay you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was only... I, I ordered 20 burgers, and I only got 16. Yeah, so, um, you can either issue your refund on, like, DoorDash or Uber Eats, but I think you're calling me wrong, Denise, because we haven't gotten that order. I said fucking burgers, you whore. I said fucking burgers. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, are you there? Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, do, do you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I, I do. I can help you. Okay, so I was wondering, how many burgers can I get? Sorry, my phone is cracking up. I was wondering how many burgers you'd be able to serve. <laughs> I'm sorry, my phone is cracking up. I'd please like to ask you, how many burgers can you serve me right now? Hello. Uh, uh, do you have any sizes larger than a large fry? No. Oh, uh, okay, I'll just get a large fry then, okay? It's you have to come through the drive-thru. Oh, well. Have a good night. Wait, no, no. <laughs> so, I placed an order for t or 69 tacos, and I only got 65 of them. Oh. And was that on DoorDash? Uh, yes, sir. One second. Because I have a whole party. Um, so I ordered about 70 tacos, and I only got 65 of them. Hello? Hello? Fucking horns. Your manager? Shut the fuck up and get a life. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I get a refund? Because I found a hair in my food. Fuck you. Hello, sir. Excuse me? Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Um, I was wondering if you have buttermeat tacos. We have what? Buttermeat tacos. Buttermeat, yes we do. They're actually extra butter. If you want to melt it, we can deep fry it. Yes, please. Yeah, butter melt. It's extra good. Like, so we have a wonderful beans. day. Okay, Daddy. Uh, no, you should ask if they had lima beans. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have punch beans there? For uh, toppings? Do you have what? Do you have beans for toppings? No. God damn it. Oh, shit. Well, uh, you have strawberries. Do you have strawberries? <laughs> what? Do you have what? <laughs> Do you have pineapple? Do you have pineapple? She said, you know what we do. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd like to get some dog food mixed with shit in my ass. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can't even fucking laugh! Oh, oh. Uh, hello. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, what kind of toppings do you guys have? Um, we have, uh... I used to coffee and we have uh, regular coffee. Wait, I said hello. Yeah? Yes, hello. Hello? Y yes, yes, hello. I was wondering. <laughs>
quite sure yet, but I booked a flight to Tahiti and I never got a check. Son, what the fuck are you calling an airport? Fuck, man. Yes, I'm over Yes, I'm over Hang up. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering because of goddamn gas prices. The, the gas prices are so high. I said the gas prices are too high and you need to change that. Oh. <laughs> Wondering if you had the new sussy if <laughs> Hello sir. I was I was wondering if you had the new sussy baka. It, it's a sussy baka drink. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, can I get a sussy baka drink? Cause I'm fucking bust. Andrew speaking, how may I help you? Alveta a la media. <laughs> Alveta a la media. <laughs> what does that even mean? Como estas de la todia? I don't speak Spanish. Eh, eh, si yo doy? Hello, uh, well, I'm in aisle 7 right now in your restaurant. I mean, <laughs> I'm in your store right now in aisle 7 in there. There's a bunch of stuff thrown off the shelves. It looks like somebody reckless came in. There's like a bunch of items on the floor, and it looks like it looks like somebody threw stuff off the shelves. Yeah, because I'm on aisle seven right now, and it's fine. Sure, the fuck you are, you no, son of a dude, bitch. Dude. <laughs> aisle seven. Wait, hold on. Which which state of bros is this? This is the one off of uh, Lakeshore. Oh, oh, oh my god. I went to Mecula. I called the wrong one. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> Psych. Uh, hello, sir. Um, I'm in the bathroom right now. And uh, I'm taking a shit. And I need, I need toilet paper. My bum hole is fucking on fire. <laughs> I just had Taco Bell. I swear to God, my fucking bum hole is fucking, it's fucking blasted. I need some toilet paper in the man's uh, bathroom, please. Uh, what about ravioli? <laughs> nope. Uh, Are you bored? What? Are you bored? Cause we don't have stuff like that. Uh, well, no. I was just seriously wondering because my brother's over here. He's asking me for this stuff. He's like. He doesn't know about actual pizza. I'm gonna have to teach him, and he's asking for this type of stuff. He's Is there fucking no, cum no, no, on it? Ten burritos, and I'm in your bathroom, and my asshole is a fucking blowhole right now. I need a shit stench. I need toilet paper. My fucking asshole is burning on fire. Where are you calling? This is a police department. Wait. No, it's not, you dummy. <laughs> my asshole is filled with fire. Oh, let me call 911, bro. You're on our bathroom. Hold on one second, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And tell yeah, him to bring. Let me get you in there. Hold on. Uh, my, my, my name is uh, Ben Dover. Ben Dover? Yes. First, first name Dover. Ben. Last name Dover. Dover. Yeah, smoke your ass, dude, and make it squirt, dude, to get that diarrhea out, dude. Yeah, 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 really yeah. Helps. Yeah, squirt that shit up there really <laughs> hard. <laughs> Okay. Bitch. <laughs>
but I'll show right now on the screen an example of a good location and a bad location. As you can see, this is an example of a good location, and this is an example of a bad location. You're gonna want to make sure nobody unnecessary is around because uh, you don't want this to happen. Hey bro, catch! Ugh. Now that you know where to play and what to play with, I'll show one example of a good play and one example of a bad play. As you can see, you're gonna want to alert the other person before you throw it, and you're gonna want to try and throw it the best you can. If you can't, take some time to practice. You know what they say, Panthers, practice makes perfect. Make sure you understand the rules and techniques of baseball as well as possible, and keep practicing. Have a great day, Panthers. Whoa! Whoa! Everyone will be equal! to pick you up, do you? Yo, what's poppin'? <laughs> hey guys, so I think I'm gonna ring that doorbell. Trick or treat. Uh, thanks. I guess. Happy Halloween. Bruh, who even likes Twizzlers? Wait. This expired before I was even born. Yeah, I'm gonna egg this guy. Expired Twizzlers. Ha ha. Very funny. And take a roll too, you filthy animal. Hey guys, Ralph here. Today we'll be eating the world's hottest pepper ever. Chomp. Oh, that's so spicy and I have no milk. I think I'm gonna <laughs> see fucking dies. Oh my god.
Come on, man, we're recording. Just smile. Okay, I've had it. I don't know. How much did it cost the iPhone? It was about uh, 200 bucks. Maniac. Five, four, three, two, and one. Just do everything I say as I say it, and we'll be fine. Audience, a drum roll, please.
company remains here to please take the edge of the floor. If you find any of my original skates, please return them back to the front counter. If you miss a step for our Nexus, visit the front and then you choose. Look at all those dumbasses. Good. Just got back from a Halloween dance at Chirela. There at this disgusting looking pumpkin. I hope I don't get abducted. Among a sussy imposter at 3 a.m. gone wrong. <laughs> Here we go right now. Here we go. Go, Ruby! Go, Ruby! All right. Here we go.
Tiffany weren't ready, you gotta stall, you gotta stall. Um, what else can we tell you? It's, it's been great not having to use masks and everything this year. So um, it's kind of like, right now, you know, this, this is a pretty small intermediate band for us because when we lost everything, these kids were in fifth grade band, I think, or we did, I don't know, they did a year virtual, maybe two, but a, a lot of students quit those years and parents would explain to me, He's just not having any fun in band. Like, no one's having any fun in band. Sitting in front of a computer playing an instrument by yourself is not band. So if any of you heard that from any of these people and said, too bad, you're staying in, thank you so much. Because this is what band is supposed to be like. And I uh, hope, they, hope they can definitely feel the difference and uh, we can too. It's been quite more enjoyable. So this is our intermediate band. We're going to start things off here with a piece called Festival Fanfare.
Thank you so much. Uh, what's on tap for this group next is uh, we'll be in the Temecula Santa's Electric Light Parade on the first Friday of December. They were handed that music this morning and uh, have to memorize it in two weeks. So if at any point during this long weekend they let you know that they are bored, they definitely have something they can't be doing. <laughs> and our last piece here is called Starship Culture. Do you see the first, the first weekend of December? The parade?
concert. Okay, so if you're kind of wondering, like, let's look at two drum sets over there. One of them is actually a practice drum set. Hey, a Sarandi puppy can do it. So we're going to I think they have three drummers. If you like jazz, you're thinking, who is Sarandi puppy? Check that out. Oh my goodness. Um, but the second one is really a practice drum set. So place that song, think back to the future. And this feature is Kayla Coronado on clarinet. Can't hear us too loud, baby. But just put your thumb over there. Let's go this. Hold on, Bill.
You gonna go right now? Here we go. Go, Ruby! Go, Ruby! All right. Here we go. Okay. Down the driveway. Okay. Here we go. Right, go, go, go. Good job, boys. Good job. Keep it up. Hey, here comes Ruby. You guys are doing great. Hey, Ruby, some more of your Good pace, good pace. A fast pace around the track as I'm a little tired already. Hey, Nana. Oh, hey, Nana. Nana. There's Kayla. What's going over there? Come here, Bella. I Say hi. Bella. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Hola. Now on to the toughest place. Nice runner already hey. in. Woo. Yes, get him in. Battle, battle, battle. Tie. Good job. We'll have to wait and see who the. Oh, hey, Ruben. Hey, brother. Hey, Ruben. Good job, Good job bro. All right, man. Good job. Two more boys down. Battling. Here we go in the sprint. Good job, boys. Good job. Yeah. Hey Panthers, I'm Ruben. You probably recognize me from my previous videos. Whoa. Whoa. Now that the holidays are over, you're probably really bored right now because you have nothing to look forward to. And you're going to what I like to call a post-holiday sadness. But I'm here to give you some ideas for things that'll keep you entertained and to stop boredom. If you have a lot of free time, you can try getting into a sport like baseball or soccer. These sports will definitely fill up your day because you can practice and have fun along with the actual games. Another thing you can do is something that you don't usually do, like something out of your comfort zone. I mean, I'm wearing five hats right now, but I think that gives you the picture of what I mean by this. You know, now that I think about it, there's so many things that you could possibly do with your time, but I think I'll have to show them all in one huge montage. Gaming. Reading. Learn to play an instrument. Go on a diet. Make some friends. Oh wait, do some cleaning. Get some sleep. Save up some money. Yeah, I should really consider this. Listen to some music. <laughs> Although I could have gone on for six years, five hours, 11 days, and uh, three seconds, I think I should end the montage there. I hope what I said has helped you have more fun after the holidays. And have a great day, Panthers. <laughs> differently this time. I think my Wii remote is broken. Ah, here we are. Are you okay? You look like you need some water. Hmm, are you cold? I know just the thing to warm you up. Hole in one. Wait, wrong sport. I want to be like him.
You look like you need to be doing some working out. Okay, now that you're in shape, you should be able to survive this. Weak! Weak piece of shit! I've seen Chromebooks with better resistance! What is this shit, a fucking 3DS game emulator? That's against the law! Ooh, the keyboard, I wanna do some typing. Just break already! Oh, we're not stopping here. Oh, you're thirsty again, huh? I've got you covered. You know what? I think we can get much higher. Have a nice flight. Right leg back, PE sucks, you know that. Hudson Hudson Science really wants to make me die. Everybody's calling me, can't go when I have to pee, said that this would end up being a big old slice of pie. Oh, uh, hello, so me and my dad came into the store, like into the meat department to like come and pick something up, and like it wasn't there. So it was Son, what are you doing? I'm pretty gone. Ah! Ah! Help me! Help! Ah! Holy shit guys it's the fucking bird and he's coming in hot. I'm about to knock your ass into the flames get out played you bird take that get a better gaming chair and maybe you can get some bitches. <laughs> hey guys, so I think I'm gonna ring that doorbell. Are you okay? You look like you need some water. You look like you need to be doing some working out. Okay, now that you're in shape, you should be able to survive this. Weak!
Some cheese, bro.
no space on my phone. So I'm recording this on the 3DS, baby. Let's go. The baby, let's go. Among us. Hey, yo! Leo! Come here! You wanna be part of my 144p YouTube channel? Oh, damn! I got 144p, baby! HDR! <laughs> I got 144p HDR baby. Yes, 2K. I said 4K. Okay. <laughs> El Bozo. Hey, yo, John. I got 144p 2K HDR baby. Oh, HDR. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes. Oh my God. Bro, I got my fucking. 2K 144p No way! Oh my god! HDR Canon camera. Yeah. Were you filming me? No, I didn't do you. What do you want to? Hi. <laughs> I'm stressed. I said a bad word. Recording this video. You said a no-no word. But you're recording. I know. Wait. 3D off? It's trippy now. It's it. like a 3D at Cheeks? Them, them weed edibles like hey, shit. This video is gonna look like from like 1970. It has 144p, baby. It's gonna be from like 1993. Yes, sir. John has a beard. Record it. Like, John! 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 It's gonna score! Hey, Zach! Hey Zach! You wanna be part of my YouTube channel? Okay. Wanna be part of my YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm recording! Zach, come here! Zach, come here! Alright, Say your intro! What's up gamers? It's Cole here, back with the 3DS gaming. Better play some Super Mario Bros. Construction. Hey, watch this squirt! Oh, wait, Mario broke his shoe. Oh! Got out of my leg. <laughs> no more squirting. Okay, yeah. Should we watch the video? It's Hold just on. Water. Oh, just stop, water. stop. You're gonna get all over my 3DS. Where's all the chairs in the bathroom? Huh? Where's all the chairs in the bathroom? They disappeared to the stage. Yes, sir, would you like some cool aids? I love cool aids. <laughs> Zach! Now I go run off. No, back. I'm gonna go make some beautiful scenes. Yeah, no, that's because I copied yeah, bro, wait, wait, bro. Bro. Zach, say our intro. Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? Today we'll be playing. Oh. Hey guys, David, you're ready to another Fortnite video. And today we'll be going to the top 10 YouTubers who sworn. Number one, Stampy Longhead. Look at it. It's actually recording. That's so stupid. <laughs> Yo, watching everything that Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about the quadratic formula of using Pythagorean theorem. Drop like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Yo. Hey, Tyler, 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 Shavala Panthers. I'm Natalie. And I'm Ruben. And we're signing into the Shavala Newsroom. Today is January 11, 2023. I hope you all had an amazing winter break. Me too, but now it's time for the new year. On that fact, let's get into the first video on how to start the school year. Having a sleep schedule can help a lot. You can start relaxing by 8 p.m. and close your eyes by 9, and you can get 9 hours of sleep and your body will feel rested. Here are three ways to have a better sleep schedule.
You can start getting ready for bed at 8 and brush your teeth and or shower. Doing an indoor hobby with your leftover time can include drawing, reading, or writing. Going to bed at 9 can help you get your full 8 hours of sleep and you can wake up at either 6 or 7. Having a sleep schedule can improve education and your mood throughout the day. It can also help if in any future jobs. Make reminders slash sticky notes to put in your agendas of any homework due or any upcoming assignments. Making a chore list can also help you get things done. Writing down what needs to be done can keep you organized. Lastly, deciding what should be in your routine. You can start with waking up at 7 in the morning. Then, make your bed. Then, you can eat a healthy breakfast to stay energized throughout the day. After breakfast, brush your teeth. After eating dinner, brush your teeth. After you can shower if you haven't already in the morning. Do a hobby to pass time. Lastly, at 9 p.m., sleep. Stay organized, Panthers. You want to set a goal for yourself. Example, getting a better grade in your social studies class. Lay out your plan on how you want to get your grade up. Example, trying harder and listening more and also studying more. Don't forget to also make it fun, Panthers, so you yourself have fun and also your friends. Lastly, rewarding yourself after hard work. It's always good to do that after hard work so then you can set more goals for yourself in the future. What are your goals for this year? Oh, here are mine. Here are mine. What are your goals for 2023, Panthers? Hey Panthers, I'm Natalie and I'm here to tell you how to have a fresh new start. Since it's the New Year's, here are some examples of how to start the new year right. Example 1. Getting better grades. I know we are all adjusting back to having a normal school year, but grades are an important and critical necessity. If you're wondering how you can improve your grades, here's how. Paying attention in class is the most effective way you can improve your grades. If you pay attention in class, you'll more understand what's going on. If you understand, it'll affect your grade in a positive way. Example 2, doing your homework. I know we all want to go home and forget about school, but we all have homework almost every day. Doing it will improve your grades. Imagine walking into class and having to use the same old excuse that you forgot it or you lost it because eventually your grades will drop, which will lead into a failing education. This is why doing your homework is important. Well, that's it with me. I hope you all had an amazing winter break. Bye Panthers, have a great day. Those videos really helped me figure out how I want to start the new year. Same here. Hey Ruben, do you hear that? Seriously? Again? It's time for another video break. 
Hey Panthers, I'm Ruben. You probably recognize me from my previous videos. Whoa, whoa. Now that the holidays are over, you're probably really bored right now because you have nothing to look forward to. And you're going to what I like to call a post-holiday sadness. But I'm here to give you some ideas for things that'll keep you entertained and to stop boredom. If you have a lot of free time, you can try getting into a sport like baseball or soccer. These sports will definitely fill up your day because you can practice and have fun along with the actual games. Another thing you can do is something that you don't usually do, like something out of your comfort zone. I mean, I'm wearing five hats right now, but I think that gives you the picture of what I mean by this. You know, now that I think about it, there's so many things that you could possibly do with your time that I think I'll have to show them all in one huge montage. Gaming. Reading. Learn to play an instrument. Go on a diet. Make some friends. Oh wait, do some cleaning. Get some sleep. Save up some money. Yeah, I should really consider this. Listen to some music. <laughs> Although I could have gone on for six years, five hours, eleven days, and uh, three seconds, I think I should end the montage there. I hope what I said has helped you have more fun after the holidays. And have a great day, Panthers. Oh my god. Come on, man, we're recording! Just smile! Okay, I've had it. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! these videos encourage you on how to start the new year. But now it's time for us to go. I'm Ruben. And I'm Natalie. And, and we're, we're signing, signing out of the Shabela Newsroom. recognize me from my in real life videos but yeah i'm the guy who makes the animations anyways today i'm here to teach you how to animate like i do first of all you're gonna want to go to google or your preferred search engine and look up pencil 2d this is the app we're going to be using for the animations but you don't have to use this one in particular a good recommendation would be flip a clip if you don't have a computer you can go to their website if you want but it's more convenient to go straight to the download page 
Once you're there, scroll down and pick the option that applies to the type of computer you have. Some of them have 64 or 32-bit, and the 32-bit takes up less space. I have Windows, so I'll be choosing Windows 32-bit. Depending on what device you're using, you'll see some kind of download thing, but what you're going to want to do once it's done downloading is open it in the downloads folder. So once you download it, you're going to have to extract it, which is pretty easy on Windows. You just right-click it, go to extract, go down here, press the extract button. It'll take a couple seconds to copy all the items into a new folder, but once you do, you just click on this folder, and you click on Pencil 2D, you scroll down, you find the one that's an application, you'll be able to tell that it's an application because it has the icon. You double-click it, and there. Now you have Pencil 2D open. While the interface might seem a little intimidating at first, you'll soon get used to it if you use it as much as I do. I tend to use the pen when animating, and here you can change the width to make the lines wider like that, or thinner like that. These are the onion skins, they allow you to see previous frames to make your animation look more consecutive. This is the color box, which just allows you to you know, you know, change the color. This is the color palette, which just allows you to pick up from a bunch of different colors, but don't worry, you can just like select something random with the color box and then add it to the color palette by pressing the plus button. This is the timeline down here, you can add new frames like this, remove new frames like this, and copy the frame with this one. You can also change the zoom of it if you have more or less frames. Now that you know the basics, I'll make a quick animation to demonstrate the capabilities of Pencil 3D. And there we have it. It only took about 20 minutes to make, and I hope I inspired you or helped you out in some way. The animation you're seeing right now is actually a stickman fight that I also made with Pencil 2D. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day, Panthers. Man. It'd really suck if I fell down this extraordinarily deep hill. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's time to do the ultimate race. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ow! Oh! You know what? I feel like starting a gaming channel. Alright, let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Bruce Gaming here, and today we are going to be playing Fortnite Battle Royale. Drop a like, or I'll end your life.
Alright we're dropping straight at tilted, now time to check my to-do list, scream at percussion to stop speeding up, tell the delinquents to pass their practiced logs to the right, eat my fiesta sized party bag of lace sour cream and onion, okay back to fortnite. Nice I landed right on the shotgun, don't you hate children because I do they won't shut their ugly mouths every once in a while you know what I mean. Oh look a guy yes take that you piece of garbage get a life and touch grass for god's sake. Oh look another one is about to bite the dust haha <laughs> honey band reference anyways fucking perish. Hey buster do you want to mess with me oh god fucking damn it screw you scumbag you imbecile prick you know what I'm reporting you take that get a hobby you nerd. Hey you yeah you failed abortion get over here yes thank you this please is the Davidson. Wait what the hell why am I flying with my balloons I Hello Buster I would like to inform you that I am among us lord here and feels like you shall be sentenced to death yes take that now you will play number 32 in the book forever ha 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 This is so fun wait where the fuck did my balloons go damn it trampoline I will sue you for personal abuse wahoo ha ha Hello, I found your IP address using the bucks.net and now I am going to kill you. Yes, take that hee hee ha, I love lean. I am the Jesus Christ of Fortnite, let's go. Alright, final gamer and time to destroy him. Yes, his name is John Cena and let's go gamers, he's dead at last. Chromatic scales for you, my friend. Thank you for watching. Subscribe or I'll appear behind you at 3 a.m. gun run by. <laughs>
he who take that you piece of shit who is the one who needs Jesus now haha but really die. Wait what the hell there is two of them oh it's my imposter buddy and let's go gamers that is how you win a game of among us I am the fucking deity Amogus. Oh I'm a scientist that means I get to make a lean potion like talking Ben at 3 a.m. gone wrong gone deadly. Why the fuck am I trapped in this random ass room with this random ass dude fuck fuck fuck. Hello Sion wait what oh shit oh shit god fucking damn it you literal scumbag I hope you die a fatal death you literal dark side of the moon. If you got brain eating fungus it would starve to death you beady eyed clusterfuck. Fuck this shit I'm out. Yes yes oh yes burn in the lava you moronic simpleton yes exactly die just die ha 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 ha. For the love of god now I'm a crewmate and I can't get even with these twats. Plus I am pink honestly just fuck my life. Nice camera wait what the fuck there are two patties what the hell now they are in here ah uh, uh, oh good dead body report. Yes take that you indescribably ill shit bag go back to the dump you came from and never come back or else I will fucking kill you. Hello gamers, Bruce Gaming here and today we are going to be playing the most dead game you have ever seen, I mean Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Okay first round is the Whirly Gig and honestly this is a pretty easy one to qualify as long as some low life discord mod who has not touched grass in 69 years does not sabotage you like the Among Us sussy imposter at 3am be sure to like and subscribe or I will end your life. I am about to get knocked off fuck you pink donut bar, I will find and kill you. But I wonder what this pipe does oh shit I just got kidnapped by a blue fucking pipe at 7.26pm on get the camera hide your children what up. I swear to god if one of the motherfuckers grabs me I will literally find their IP address and stick a goddamn pipe bomb in their mailbox okay good qualified those bastards get to see you another day for now. Oh no not this level what in the hell were mediatonic thinking when they added this horrible level all you do is lose like come on this is infinite pain. Listen you little beanie prick, you either keep your life for this penguin which one do you choose, your fucking life it is then now take your last few breaths of the earth's beautiful air while you still can you hear me. Let's go baby I am in place wait oh you son of a bitch how dare you remove me of my crowning achievement I see this as a personal threat and I will fucking do something about it. Is this some fucking practical joke because it is not funny Jesus Christ I got penguin pool party again and it is only a party if your idea of party is downright torture. Bullshit I literally am carrying a penguin and I still fail to qualify like shit what more do you want from me? The Among Us Lord's powers only reach a certain extent SMH. Damn, this little bitch ass is about to beat me wait a minute hell yeah take that how does it feel to get owned you fucking lower class citizen. Bad motherfuckers get out of the way oh fuck I lost yet again, am I just bad or is everyone else just a toxic asshole? Okay here we go wait what the fuck it is not one lime looking things. Is my whole life a lie or is the crack I smoked earlier having its effects? Let's easily go across this platform and wait oh bloody hell this game's logic is literally bottom of the barrel. Like get a better physics and just or go home you know what I mean. Okay let's easily qualify and await shit get out of my way no don't push me off of blimey those mofos just single handedly took me down. I will get with my friend one day I'll Pringle and we will burn this game to the ground. Oh you, I'm speechless, I will now recite every first word in the English language. Motherfucker, asshole, bullshit, no. Eventually. Alright, after like 15 years I have finally managed to get into a final round and right off the bat I notice that this is an absurd amount of people and there is only one crown, unless I win, this is going to get ugly. 
but wrong or now I am seriously losing and one of those duck face pricks is probably going to reach the crown. Now I say my prayers to the almighty among us that I win, as it says in the among us bible, thou shall oh god fucking damn it do you have any idea how much effort I put into this I am beyond angry and I want to turn into Morbius I will never play this piece of garbage ever again say it with me folks dead game dead game dead game dead game dead game dead game Hello guys it is Bruce Gaming here, it has been a while but I am back with some more fresh content, today I will be playing Super Mario Bros. So here we go and wait is that a mushroom what the hell it just made me bigger is this what drugs are like. Oh wow a flower now I can harness the power of the sun and shoot fire from my hands. I must be the highest in the room right now wait holy fucking shit I'm god now. Bow down to me perish you worthless souls. Wait why in the name of god did I slide down a pole, either in the fireman or this is really sus. Oh my lord I have descended down to the underworld and there is those weird pieces of shit walking around, feel my wrath ha ha lol. Fellas there is this cool trick where you go up here and you have this is big break time, tis always your boy Bruce who knows secrets and tips like this, my genius is frightening sometimes you feel me pog. Hey look there is this cloudy high bastard who is throwing his red colored balls at me from above and I must dodge them like the expert gamer among us pro I am. I think we both see who the real alpha male is, don't you think? Oh so you are throwing hammers at me. I take that as a personal insult and I could take you to court but instead I think I will just stomp on your green ass head to do the trick. Mamma mia here we go again bring it on god fucking damn it stupid ass turtle prickwad. Fuck. 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 What the fucking hell I even got a game over. Oh shit not a water level these suck ass and there is those fucking squids. The English language does not possess compelling enough words to describe my anger so I will start speaking Spanish. A la mayor de calamar. A la mayor de el inferno y vuelta. Yes, pero que artes en el inferno. Oh dear Christ, not this motherfucking devil with the flying fish. The reason there is no water below them is because they are rising from hell to attack you as expected for such soulless beings. Oh my goodness, it is Bowser the Turtle Meister. Please teach me your ways, Sensei. Oh, don't attack me, please. It looks like I will need to kill you. Come here you punk. God fucking damn it, I actually done with this janky ass game, goodbye. Hello guys, it is I, Bruce Gaming here and today I am playing Sonic the Hot Dog, I mean Hedgehog. Right off the bat I want to say this game has a lot more pixels than Super Mario Bros, but I wonder if that will make it better. Also, the nutters that made this game must be mental thinking that a hedgehog is blue. Like, pay attention in science class, my guy. I should touch it. Wait, what the fuck? It sent me to the weed smoking crack at a ghetto dimension. This must be what a marijuana trip feels like, I'm god. Look, box, wait, what the hell? I'm god again. <laughs> oh, she got fucking damn it, a whole killed me. Damn it, I missed the rain time to install hacks. <laughs> With these hacks I'm out control space and time among this terrible game and can easily go to the marijuana dimension now dot baby let's go. Holy shoot it is the Eggman and he is flying his kitty cart. Dear god now he is swinging his enormous balls at me that I must avoid or else I will die. Get on you eggheaded motherfucker. That lava down there looking real devious oh shoot it is chasing me and I must run to avoid it while I have you here. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a free to play RPG MMO in which you 6 and a half hours later.
Holy mother of god it is Eggman again how the hell are you still in that toy ship I fucking blew it up last time and I won't be afraid to do it again. Me. That's what I fucking thought you eggy delinquent. Do not ever mess with me again or you will pay. WTF was that an imposter among us at 3 a.m. Holy shit guys I found the among us imposter at 4 <laughs> Alright this is the last straw Eggman I think I will just end you right now. Papa take that get insta killed you piss panted brat go touch grass go get a life and stop being so goddamn sussy among us among us goodbye screw this game I drowning myself and a video cut. Hello it is me Bruce Gaming here again and today I will be playing Super Mario World. I will start with this level on the left. Oh my god look at that huge I better die. Nice I won up mushroom oh a bullet ha who gets stomped on bro. Seems like a skill issue to me. And at that question block. Nice. I now have fire powers again. And can resume my role as a deity oh wait damn it that purple ass dragon hit me. My guy why are you clapping like that? Seems kinda sus not gonna lie. Dude this is so pushing P. This is pushing P, no cap. Alright, time to push P, Jesus fucking Christ, that is a lot of coins, I better collect the all before my P timer runs out, goofy. <laughs> what the hell is that green dinosaur thing? Oh yeah, it is Yoshi, come and ride with me, I don't care if it's against your will, you stupid Koopa. Look, I just gained access to the weed vine, in the climate. I wish it could get me stoned, you feel me Yoshi. This guy's pushing P right now. Dude, this is so pushing P. After pushing P, I just made those coins transracial, and I'm sure this is illegal on so many levels, but hey, it is apparently what the game wants me to do, in it. Da baby, let's go me and Yoshi are gods now, and we are obliterating everything in our path with the power of the star. <laughs> I pull up to this castle, and legend has it that a stupid ass nerd lives here. Time to storm it like I did to Area 69 all those years ago, I mean Area 51. Hey yo, this is pushing P right now. No cap, this is pushing P. Holy shit guys, it's the fucking nerd and he's coming in hot. I'm about to knock your ass into the flames, get out, played you nerd, take that, get a better gaming chair and maybe you can get some bitches you hear me. God damn look at this dude with his little Barbie cape, what a Sigma male I'm oh more like Sigma male hee 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 ha. To the sky we go. 2000 years later. It has been a while but your boy Bruce has managed to ascend to another plane yes that's right I'm in the star dimension with my lean Yoshi and we are about to stomp out this cloudy nerd right here with his own purple lean bricks. Just got to get a little bit closer and take that. Now we do what is called a big brain move. By flying up here we can get the key and put it into the hole so we can advance to the next level. I am such a genius figuring these things out and I only had to watch 42 tutorials to learn it. Eventually. As you can see, by using my brilliant brute techniques, I can now unlock the Bowser boss fight early instead of playing the rest of the game like a normal person. I might even get a speedrun record on this if I can beat the fat turtle first try. There is the front door. Here do we go. Oh my god. Before I start fighting this dude, I want to say something. Just to let you know, Elsa sucks. It looks as though I have to dodge this dude's humongous balls, just like Eggman from the Sonic video. This time he is rolling his balls at me. Ooh, 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 scary. Where are you going? Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Oh no. Ah, 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 ah. Dear god it is raining fire and I can't do anything about it, oh shit. God fucking damn it I hate this game and I will never play it again. Hello 
guys it is me Bruce Gaming playing Minecraft again and today we are going to be fighting the Ender Dragon. First, we need to throw these green balls and follow the direction they take us. Cue the time elapse. And with final throw of the Eye of Ember, it appears that our stronghold is below this random farmer's land. And it looks like we are finally in the portal room. Now, I will place the Eye of Ember in the places and now we can finally go fight the Ender Dragon. Since I am such a big brain gamer, the first step is to make an infinite water source and you should seek help if you don't know why I am doing this. Anyways, let's dig up now and fight. I just built a safe house in case Endermen attack me, and now it is time for the real battle. I am up here on the tower with the first end crystal and I will now destroy it. Take that. Dang bro, you have some serious skill issues. Now that we have destroyed the crystals, we can get up close and personal with this stupid dragon. Get stabbed by netherite, wait come back you filthy coward. Yes, take that you stupid bitch ass motherfucking trick and hard a dragon. Who's the boss now? It looks like this world is mine to craft he 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 he. Now I will collect this dragon egg by using the power of light. By making it fall onto the torch, I can safely collect the dragon egg without the teleportation bullcrap. Now, I need to go to the end city. As I throw this ender pearl into the portal, I can now safely travel to the end city. Wait, let's go. There is a city right next to me, and a ship with the elytra. Oh my god this is better than the knowledge as he asked. It looks like I'm in and dear god why do these shuttlekers have to spit their slimy mucus balls at me that cause me to levitate. I mean, that is pretty damn disgusting if you ask me. Whoa look at this sick loot, it was totally worth coming here for. At last we are finally here. Get out of the way you piece of shit, you are guarding my wings and loot. And now I can finally fly. I am the new overlord of this dimension. I triumphed over the ender dragon and should be treated as such. I have won. Now I will go back to my home dimension. Wait, why the fuck is nothing loading? God fucking damn it. I better not have lost everything to a motherfucking glitch. Alright, that's more like it. All I needed was to restart my game. I was this close to suing Mojang, for real. And with that I have beaten the game, this time for real. I don't give a shit about this strange dialogue, unless they are congratulating me on being the greatest player to ever walk the earth. Anyways, I am back, and I am ready to go home. Six and a half hours later. Oh my god there it is. I am home now. I have come back from a great battle with the ability to fly, and I am home. After all is said and done, that dragon still has a serious skill issue, not gonna lie. Hello guys it is me Bruce Gaming back again with a fresh new video. Today we are playing some iPhone games I found starting with Big Big Baller. And you know what? They did not lie, this game is very much about Big Big Ballers. Oh yes now I get to maul innocent pedestrians Mubahahaha. <laughs> 12 seconds later. I am now the biggest First big baller in all the lands, Double and kill. there is nothing you could possibly Double dream kill. of doing to stop me, for this is just the beginning of my reign of terror, and every last soul will kneel at the name of Bruce Gaming. Hear God, that. God Even like. the game knows that God I am like. the Among Us Lord, calling me godlike. I have no skill issues whatsoever and I have now dominated this game. Easy first place. No really though, stop posting about Baller. The 
fact that this cherry ass music is playing over a literal fucking car crash is very interesting. This kind of shit doesn't happen every day if you get my drift, no pun intended, but a funny way. Shit, god fucking damn it, I hate this game and I will never play it again. Okay, so I know what the title says, but this fucking game is the greatest of all time, period. The sheer amount of effort that was put into this Obeying Masterpiece is incomprehensible to the human mind. I don't care how bad my skill issue is, I could play this shit for hours. Greatest game ever, fucking fight me if you disagree. This certified hood classic of this long even plays during the end, I mean how much better can you get? Right off the bat, the screen is fucking tilted sideways, deeming this game instant fucking dog shit, and this fucking slong sucks too, what the fuck? Okay, this fucking game sucks, I'm done. Wow, crew us, what a fucking original name, totally not like Among Us or anything. Wait, why the hell do they want to send me notifications? Whatever, how fucking dare they ask me my name? These uncultured swines don't know the name of the Davidson. Plus it is also fucking sideways. Fuck up. Oh shit I am an imposter and I am fucking purple. Where the hell are we? The fucking beach. What does this shit have to do with among us? I just made this sign bag of expired shit see god. I finally feel like the Bruce again. These shitty games were really getting me fed up. Now, to quickly get the fuck out of here. Is that a motherfucking zombie? Whatever, I will just kill this bastard instead. Just for the funsies, you know. Oh shit, emergency meeting, oh I mean report. <laughs> Let's go, I get to dub in crew us, I am now an unstoppable deity. I will now go play Obama Spin, bye bye. Hello guys it is me Bruce Gaming back again with another ripely picked video. Today we are playing Cupman I mean Mudhead, and I can already tell that this game looks old as fuck, like did they make this shit when the dinosaurs were still around? Bro what the hell is this screen? Oh look a boring ass book, I am about to skip this shit. I do not care what this kettle ass motherfucker has to say but I will just happily skip through all of his unengaging and frankly dog shit dialogue and jump straight into the tutorial. I am sure this game will be a piece of cake. Hold down to crouch. Do you really fucking think this is my first time doing this is a game? I am Bruce Gaming, don't you fucking dare tell me how to play a game you fucking lost cause. Look at this fat pork ass motherfucking son of a bitch. I want to buy you, fuck face, for dinner, and I will not spend a single penny on your ass. Okay, this seems pretty easy a first fucking hell what in the name of Davidson is that thing, and why did it hurt me? I can only take three fucking hits what the fuck. Oh no 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 god fucking damn it. Mushroom ass, go back to Mario you fucking twat. I will find and kill you I swear on my life I will voluntarily go outside and touch grass just so I can fucking eat you alive you fungal piece of shit. Is that it? Jesus Christ, that was the most horrible and painful thing I have ever played through, and I have played Death Town Car Crash Racing, if the person who designed this level is watching this. Then fuck you, fuck you to the moon. You made the Among Us Lord fail in life for once, and no one does that and keeps their hopes and dreams afterward. I already sued Mediatonic and Epic Games and got that taken care of after that full guys incident, and I am ready to batter the fuck up on these people. What? Why the fuck wasn't that bridge already there, and why did me completing that level summon it? Now that I think of it, I should be grading practice logs and reports right now, but meh, as Spongebob says, I don't really feel like it. Spongebob battle for bikini bottom rehydrated video coming soon. Hey potato ass, why don't you stop spitting your balls of shit at me and show some respect to your cup shape peer. Potatoes have no fucking manners. 
Excuse my language, but it is no wonder they get turned into French fries. I hope this video does not get taken down because I said French, a slur worse than the n-word. Oh look he is dead now. Get a better gaming chair, oh wait he is a fucking onion now. First this fucker is French, and now Shrek. Fuck off. I am about to fucking scream at the top of my lungs right now. If I die one more fucking time, I am going to lose it. No! I am so fucking angry right now that you cannot even comprehend it. There has never been a hard game to me until now. I will just continue, but if I keep dying at this rate, I am going to fucking sue these bastards. This is what happens when you mess with the among us grunt who pay for it, and the HR is now born thanks to me. This is my true form. Anyways, thank you for watching. I am getting tired of being an unstoppable deity, I am going back to regular brutes mode, I already taught Studio MDHR a lesson. Much better, time to make another epic video. What is popping guys, it is me Bruce Gaming back again with a brand new video that is anything but Riverdondo. I hope you do not mind what happened in the last video, as I was just a little bit mad, that's all. Anyways, today we are playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, as I said last video. This game looks like a certified hood classic if I do say so myself. Spongeboy me Bob, I regret to inform you that there seem to be strange star-like objects hovering all throughout your house. Wait what the fuck are you doing don't touch them, we don't know where they have been. They could have been from the choir room for all we know. What kind of a down bad motherfucker just so happens to have black cube contraptions just sitting in his house waiting to be used? The fuck? The fuck? Oh my god piss spatula, wait no don't touch it, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the fuck would you touch that? I am skipping this stupid ass dialogue, fuck you Patrick. Squidward my guy, why the hell is your house decorated like that? Are you still stuck in the motherfucking 40s? We are not playing Cuphead anymore, you dumb fuck. Patrick has the average Discord moderator set up. This is your average house in Ohio, going for about $99,000 a month for basic rent privileges. Squidward, what are you running from? What the fuck are you supposed to be? A fucking build your own robot kit your weird uncle got you for Christmas. You know what I got for Christmas. A BB gun so I can shoot students who give wrong answers. There are too many tubas here anyway, I could lose a few of them with this. They would not want to be a part of the band anymore. How in the ever living hell did you just drown underwater? You are underwater you spongy piece of shit. Get a good fucking gaming chair and lose the skill issue, maybe then you could swim underwater like a regular fucking sea creature spongebob shit pants. What the fuck am I looking at? I thought the physics engine in Fall Guys was bad, but this is clearly worse. This is not possible. What the hell am I playing?
This game is so fucking boring. I have been playing for 10 whole minutes and I have just barely left this section. Who the fuck designed this shit? Empty HR. That must taste nasty, but I am starting to think that this yellow bastard deserves it. At this rate, I have had more fun playing those horrible iPhone games, part 2 coming soon, by the way. God fucking damn it. This is such a bullshit fucking game. What kind of neckbeard did prick made this shit? I am this fucking close to quitting this. Would you look at that? I can play as the pink prick myself. Hip hip hooray. Six and a half hours later. This is the least engaging game I have ever played, and I have played Grand Spider Hero City War. Oh look, a fat ass jellyfish taking a shower. I am so engaged and thrilled by these current events. This is my reaction to that information. Of course it just has to be Spongebob's ass to stop this innocent fucking jellyfish from taking a nice hot shower. Go fucking drown yourself underwater, Spongebob, you fucking piss-colored butts. Spongebob what the actual fuck is wrong with you? You forced a bottle of jelly out of him and made him abandon his home. Don't you fucking wave at him. I will come to your fucking house and use you to wash my dishes you soap sudded fucktard. I hope you are proud of yourself dipshit. Oh great, now this self absorbed, no pun intended shithead is gonna slide down the hill on his tongue like the little twat he is. I hope you slide down to hell, fuckface. Great, now I am stranded on this island with no way out, and suicide is not an option because this fucker suddenly has a drown defense mechanism. You know what? I am done with this fucking game. Zero out of ten would not fucking recommend unless you are a jellyfish hating sociopath. See you in the next video, and good fucking riddance. Those are all the high schoolers right there. That was cool, man.
multiple teacher, he understands what it's like to work with multiple students, which is great. Um, <laughs> we, on, on behalf of Marietta Valley Unified School District, uh, Board of Education, um, Dr. Andrus, the superintendent, we'd like to present you this class for being with us tonight.
Oh, that's what Ruby said. There was a Charles that was in there that in the seventh grade. Charles. George. George. We'll take a picture of him, uh, Take a picture of him. Ruben. Good job, Rube. <laughs> you see anybody else you know? All right, you write the title. Let's get into this. We're starting with Miss Bogard, or the guardian of the bows, and probably S tier teacher. Like, okay, yeah, science is cool. Next we got Bruce Gaming himself, also S tier, because like you know he's Bruce Gaming. Eggman, D, yeah, what are we naming the tiers? D is gonna be the worst of the worst. C is gonna be bad. B is meh, A is good, and S is the goats. Miss Han, meh, whatever. Mr. Masters, and I know I made a whole video dunking on it, but he's whatever. Mr. Mickey Math himself, meh. Mr. Nice, bad. Mr. Rome Mero, bad. Miss Spencer, meh, good. This is video producer. Good. Now, I know I put Mr. Nice here. He's not nice. He's Mr. Rude. Alright, now we're doing the classes. First, we got Language Arts 6. Eh, it was a pretty good class. Good. I enjoyed it. Now we got PE 7th. Eh, the worst, the worst. Free choice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, we're adding a new tier. Okay, that feels right. Alright, Language Arts 7. Eh, bad. I don't like it. Social Studies 6. It was also pretty good, I guess. This time wasn't bad. Social Studies 7th, on the other hand. The worst of the worst. Yeah, I, I despise this class. Math. Meh, eh. Math 7th. Eh, whatever, I guess. Science 6th. Whatever, right? Now. Yeah, big. Yeah. Science seventh, on the other hand, good. The, the goat, yeah, great class. Video production seventh, good. PE sixth, also the worst, the worst. And that's the school table list. Guys, it's your boy Bruce Gaming, and today we are going to be playing Super Mario 64, another classic Mario game. Cough, cough, Mario is better than Sonic. Cough, cough. Anyways, literally no one asked for me to play this game or to even keep making videos in the first place, but here we are, still going strong. And would you look at that, Mario came out of the pipe. Gee willikers, it sure would suck if this was the last time Mario uses this common game mechanic in this game. What a nice looking door, oh wait god fucking damn it, why did I hit the fucking door and get knocked back for fuck's sake? 
Looks like Bowser the Turtle Meister was here or some shit man I don't fucking know these stories aren't the best That's why I'm concerned for the Mario movie Also from the same motherfuckers who made the Godforsaken Minions Hey look a painting wait what the fuck what in the name of god how the fuck did I jump into a painting Does this stupid fucking game not know how basic fucking laws work God, even the dead game fall guys knew more about this shit than this. Like I knew Mario 64 was like, the first game ever made, but like, come on. Jesus fucking Christ did they have to make the chain chump look that fucking horrifying in this game. That's my fucking sleep paralysis demon right there. And no, not every copy of Super Mario 64 is personalized, those are just stupid fucking playground rumors. Good fucking grief this son of a bitch is about to actually murder me I am gonna get the fuck up out of this guy's crib, my bad G I am gonna let you go. God damn bro. Way to get the fuck out of here, that was kind of rough of you. Hey, at least you unlocked the first star for me. What a lucky coincidence that this motherfucker just so happens to slam right into the gate that just so happens to contain one star. Sure is weird. We're finally at the top of the mountain and would you look at that, it's the biggest bomb. That's crazy, he looks amazing. I guess I'm gonna have to fight him. I'm the biggest bird, I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird, I'm the biggest bird. Be gone, you strange rotund freak. Wait, what the fuck? Does he know black magic? I guess that would be fitting if you know what I mean. I can't throw him off. Isn't that the whole fucking point or am I tripping? So as it turns out, I have to simply throw him in the middle to beat him. Questionable game design, but maybe that's just me. Anyways, he just fucking exploded like the bomb he is and is now the second star for me to collect. Thanks, I guess. So I guess this turtle ass motherfucker wants to race me to the top of the mountain. There's no way this green shelled fat ass beats me because I am the red shirted fat ass. There's no fucking way. It is on fat face. I said what I said you fucking dipshit. I am already up here at the top, and your slow ass is still treading. I would call you a turtle, but you already fucking are one you stupid prick. Did these stupid motherfuckers not realize that islands can't fucking float? How the fuck are they this fucking stupid? What kind of crack are they on, and how can I get some myself? Hey, would you look at that, it's the next star. How convenient that this one is in a fucking box on a floating island, which I think is a motherfucking Fortnite reference. I think I'm supposed to suspend my disbelief for this and just go with the flow, but sometimes I just can't put up with this stupid bullshit, you know what I mean. I don't know how much more of this I can fucking take. Finding 8 red coins magically summoned another star, which is like 10,000 feet away from me for some reason. What's next, is a drug dealer gonna sell me a cocaine injected star or some shit? God, this is so fucking stupid. And now I am shooting myself out of a cannon at Mach 10 speeds into the fucking stratosphere. If I don't fucking die from this, then oh what the fuck how did I survive this shit? You're telling me Mario gets knocked back by a fucking door but doesn't flinch getting shot hundreds of feet from the sky from a cannon. What the fuck is this game? I haven't questioned it until now, but why are a bunch of these levels just in a Minecraft skyblock looking void? This ignores approximately every known law of aviation and physics ever conceived by mankind, and I am not willing to look past it. I demand a remake of the game where shit makes sense. Wait what? Why did I get a star? Is it because I got 100 coins? Do you have any idea how tedious this is going to be in some of the harder levels with fewer coins if I am planning on fully completing the game? Fuck it, I am not gonna get every single star if I have to go to these measures to do it. Good fucking riddance with that idea. Golly fucking gee would you look at that, another star for the 8 red coins. How exhilarating. Look guys look, it's a grey rectangle, definitely not a carbon copy of the biggest bum. 
In this case, he is the biggest flump, and you must have Ligny if you think this guy is going to be any harder. Bigger than a castle where you're in Austria. They wanna be like me, but they can't be like this. And wow, it happened again. He fucking exploded and conveniently turned into a star for me to collect. This game is so predictable. What is Bowser gonna turn into when I beat him? A fucking golden key. If that happens, I will delete my channel. Wow look, the star is at the top of the tower. Who would have fucking thought? How clever of them to put it there. Thanks for providing a fun and engaging challenge. Really appreciated it. I think I lined this shot up good enough. Oh fucking hell. How the fuck did I miss that shit? That's more like it. It only took three fucking attempts. You didn't see the second one because I ripped my monitor to fucking shreds and corrupted the footage and had to get a new one. Which is why this video has taken so long to get out. I had to raise money on BruceGaming.com by selling NFTs of Among Us characters, but I got enough to get a new gaming setup. Why the hell was the star on that island anyway? Whatever, another star for me. What the fuck do I do with them anyway? I told you I was a big brain gamer. I used an owl to my advantage just to get this randomly placed star in a floating cage because I am just like that. This game is too easy. Wait hold up why is there a fucking star inside of this random corner and how did I not get my face minced from the sudden impact? Whatever, I have gone numb from this game's stupid bullshit at this rate. Look, a heavenly light. Did I fucking die from playing too much of this game? If that is the case, take me with you. Wait god fucking damn it it's just a stupid flying game. I thought I was about to ascend to heaven. I am not even gonna begin to question the logic behind this. Eventually. You have no fucking clue how many goddamn attempts this took, but I finally got all 8 red coins. If Cuphead didn't teach me to hate flying levels, then this sure as hell did. Good fucking grief, and good fucking riddance. Ah, Jolly Roger Bay, what a peaceful place. Time to fucking drown myself just like I did in Minecraft. So I got the order of these chests right, and they gave me a star. I got it right first try, which means I am automatically cool. I once again got the order of these chests right, as you do, and I hear a weird rumbling sound. Wait, the boat is draining. How the fuck would four submerged wooden chests be able to do that? Man, I don't fucking know, neither do I care, because there is probably a star up there. Wait, what the fuck I just rhymed? You know what? I'm about to spit some heat. It's your boy, Bruce Gaming, and I'm packing all the heat. When I drop these bars right down, you'll be feeling hella beat. Your name is probably Tyler, and you get no bitches at all. When we're standing side by side, I'll be looking hella tall. You're built like a lawnmower and eat what it eats, while I'm structured like a beast minus the S I never miss a beat. Let's face it, I'm better than you, and you should just go home. Ugly ass, short ass, built like a garden gnome. Man, I totally smoked you with those bars. Anyways, I just found a hidden level because I have a good gaming chair, and you can't argue with that. Okay, how in the ever-living fuck does this gigantic fucking slide fit inside of this tiny ass castle, and why am I in a black void? The devs must have been on a fucking acid trip while making this game because this shit is weirder than that time a kid showed me his euphonium with a big fucking dent in it, like what an irresponsible pathetic delinquent. Lore update guys, I am able to open doors with stars now. So that's what they are for. Very fucking interesting. This makes so much fucking sense, I can see it all coming together. Anyways, I finally made it to Bowser's crib, and it is once again in a fucking void, but I guess it's understandable because the turtle meister works in the dark. I was wrong, the pipe was used again. Holy fucking shit, it's Bowser the turtle meister, it's been so long. Every time we've crossed paths, you have fucking killed me, but not this time. I'm so strong I am able to swing this 2000 pound turtle by his tail. Here we go. So long gay Bowser indeed. Get fucking blown to smithereens you overgrown reptile and fuck off. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird.
wait what the fuck is happening I didn't mean to fucking kill him oh no please don't explode fuck he turned into a fucking golden key too are you fucking Walking, they scared me they want to be like Moe's no comparison wait what the key doesn't fit well then why the fuck is there a conveniently placed door that also requires the key and where is the other door at as a key, the turtle meister isn't very useful, you feel So me? I guess the key is for the basement, also known as the place where Tyler the Discord mod lives. I wonder what the hell is down here. Probably the Among Us I summoned in your basement at 3am. I've got you now you stupid yellow rabbit. Give me your star now. I'm gonna hit this wall wait what the fuck. Was the wall a painting or was the painting the wall? Who the fuck cares? I am in a desert level now, how exhilarating. Oh god I'm drowning in quicksand fuck fuck fuck. Man this is really starting to grind my gears. Earlier I thought I was ascending to heaven, but now I am in the darkest depths of hell. This fucking game, man. What the fuck? I'm afraid that's not how, well, anything works. The volcano is suddenly smaller, and for fuck's sake, I should stop thinking about these major oddities. Hey fat ass, who do you think you're messing with? Maybe stop being such an unlikable shitbag, and maybe then you'll get some bitches. That's what I fucking thought, now give me my rightfully earned star. Oh god not the shithole anything but the shithole, god fucking damn it. Oh dear god not the fucking merry-go-round anything but the motherfucking godforsaken merry-go-round. You know what? I done with this fucking game, I can't take this stupid fucking shit anymore. Goodbye, and fuck off. St. Patrick's Day. Why are you going around pinching people? That's just wrong.